Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we are making a program which can detect object from video also in the picture. So let's see the demo. So this one click on here to play. So it will play this uh, video. Take some time to load. Okay. Yep. You can see here some kite with person. You can see it will detect the person and also the height okay so you can see here some uh, person here okay with some probability you can it also detect the height also so in this tutorial we are going to develop this one so we are going to use google color cause in my system i don't have any gpu okay so this is the google color so i already create a file in my google color and i already mount my google right here okay so this is the repository we are going to use it so it is the yolo b5 official github repository so in this tutorial we are using yolo b5 that's in version 5 okay so now what we need to do we need to uh, clone this repository here so let's click on here and copy the repository from it here okay so if you're using some command in your notebook it should be Jupyter or it should be Google Color. You need to put here exclamatory sign and the comma. So let's say git clone and the pass the link and shift enter. So it will clone in the repository uh, inside uh, this link. Okay. So that's mean it will cloning this link. Or you can also uh, click on code and also uh, copy the uh, link of this here. Okay. Same as it is. Okay. So now what you need to do? We need to uh, install all the requirement inside this github repository so you can see here when i go to your requirement.txt file let's click on here so it is loading okay so inside this uh, requirement.txt file there are some files of uh, library and also the dependencies in python so we are going to uh, download all these uh, requirement inside this requirement.txt file okay or you can also see here uh, requirement python 3.8 or later so pip install require r requirement.txt so let's copy it from here pip install r requirement.txt and go here and again climate sign and this pass this link okay so after that you have to put here the uh what you call the path link so yolo b5 is right now path so you have to put here the yolo b5 and this is okay so it will uh, install the requirement uh, from this yolo b5 folder so inside this yolo b5 folder you can find here the requirement.txt file so it will downloading all those requirements from this requirement.txt file okay so you can see here download is right now complete so now what you need to do we need to initialize our nvidia okay so you need to put here a command and b and b uh, dia as mr so it will initialize the nvidia in your system you can see here nvidia SMA has been failed because it could not communicate with the nvidia driver so you need to change your runtime here click on the change runtime and now it's time it is null so click on gpu and click on save and again shift enter you can see here i think uh, this should be uh control c about again yep yeah right now you can see here uh it will uh, initialize the nvidia here so friday is now the date with uh, with the uh, time also so now no running process is found here okay so now what you need to do you need to go to the directory of the yolo b5 so let's go yolo b5 right now shift enter so it will uh, go to the yolo b5 so now now search for in the directory of the yolo b5 so i think we have to uh, mount this google drive again so after mounting it uh, it will see how it happened go to the google drive link and after going the google drive link uh, you need to go here and copy the code success code inside this here copy it here enter the authorization code again and the shift enter all the files okay take some time to load this yep shift enter shift enter shift enter right now i think it will be okay okay take some time to load yep yeah you can see here content you will be fine okay so now if you clicked in here you can see here you will be five right now so inside this folder here are some folders of data and also the requirement text file okay now let's click on here to close this 
and now we need to upload some videos or the picture so let's try the picture first so from google dot call up we are going to import some files so that's why files and we are going to upload it so let's make a uh, variable upload it and the files uh, dot upload so this upload system should be the picture or the uh, video so first we are going to uh, deal with the picture i think uh, error again so from google dot call up we are going to import the file i think what the problem man no module name google dot call up okay what problem Google dot call up. I think copy it from here. I don't know why it's getting some error. Okay, from Google dot call up. Copy it here. Import the files. I think it should be correct right now. Yep, you can see here browse file here. So let's click on here to browse the picture. So uh, it will uh, uh, actually go to your local system and uh, choose the picture. Let's choose the picture. Uh, yes, this one okay so it will load it right now so let's copy the path of this and now so let's go to this folder inside this folder you can see here detect.py so this detect.py would help us to detect the object from this picture of the video okay so now it is loading so take some time to load this okay so after loading uh, it will uh, generate uh, the picture inside this here you can see here this picture is right now here so we are uh, we need to create a common who can detect these uh, uh, using this digital py you can detect the object from this picture is the person or it's you something else okay so you have to put here the exclamation sign again and the python okay python detect dot py and source and the picture name so this one the picture name so source python detect source dot py so shift enter so it takes some time to generate the uh, whole thing okay uh, python detect.py source yeah so it will load it and it will downloading this uh, uh, model from this url so after downloading it will detect the uh, object from this uh, picture okay so you can see here done right now so result save on the runs detect.exp so click on here runs and go to the detect and go to the exp and let's click on here and click on download so it will download in this picture from this uh, path okay you can also open it here so click on open so it will open in this take some time to load my uh, my system is so slow okay so you can see here to detect the person so let's zoom little bit and see it is correct or not click on here zoom yeah right now zoom why is it okay yeah so see scroll down scroll down yeah you can see a person with some probability 0.92 that's mean 0.92 percent is it is this this is a person okay close it here so now we are going to upload a video here so let's copy these uh, things from here Control c and paste it here so actually it will take some time to uh, generate uh, and also the upload this video if your uh, video is more more lengthy uh, it will take some time or takes more amount of times but in my case the my video is uh, something like what do you call inside this folder it read okay uh, my video is length is just 9 mb so click on here so it is a bangla video okay i am i am going to use it okay you can see here gd percent grind right now so you need to also uh, uh, do this comment as well as in the same as the video so it will also uh, what do you call export this thing inside this folder. So let's uh, do same as it is detect what do you call detect dot py and the source and the source name is the amusilam dot mp4. Okay, we're going to use this one. So this one, control B. Okay, so it will take some time to load this. So you can see here 21 percent down so let's uh quick uh, look look a quick look of this again okay so first what you do you need to mount our google drive you can see from google.color we are going to input the drive so after uh inputting the drive we need to mount this drive so that's mean we, we are going to um <clears throat> what do you call 
call the Google, please uh, give me access inside this drive. If I can access your drive. So your drive uh, mounted this drive in context.z drive folder, Google drive folder. So after mounting it, what you need to do, you need to uh, clone this uh, whole repository. So this is the repository of this. You can also read this repository. Okay. So there are some code and some things and some graph with some you can see a first star it's a first star and some version is but the most popular version of the ULU is the ULU v3 is a version 3 so you can see here all the question and the PyTools hub so this is actually using the PyTools okay so next tutorial I am trying to uh, make this one in my local system but in my case I don't have any GPU but I, I try to make this one I think it should possible and also in the CPU okay so we also uh, install the PyTorch in, in, in our system. I think in my case it's already installed. So let's check it for Windows R and see it will install or in my system or not. So click here Python. Okay. So after clicking this, it will uh, open your default Python. So import Torch. I think it should be the uh, installed in my system right now. Take some time to load. Import tools. Uh, so PyTorch is actually the framework. Uh, it's like the TensorFlow, but it has some more amount of uh, libraries. Okay. So import tools. It is a framework. So you can send the library in Python. So it will uh, load it in my system. But see, uh, I think it will be working may also may in the system. But next video, I am trying to do this one in your local system. Okay. So let's click on here and close this one. And I think uh, it will be uploaded right now or not. I don't know my not. Okay, uh, right now is uh, what do you call 91%. Okay, so now what you need to do, we need to clone this repository. After cloning this repository, we need to install all the requirements from this ULU v5 folder. So after uh, the requirement, downloading all the dependencies from this folder, we need to initialize our NVIDIA. So first, what you need to do, you need to change runtime. Click on runtime and say change runtime type. So make sure your runtime should be GPU. Okay. So after initialize our NVIDIA GPU, we need to uh, go to the ULU v5 folder. After you go in the ULU v5 folder, we need to upload some picture or the or the what do you call some videos. So now right now it is okay down right now. So shift enter. So it will also generate this uh, like files. So you can see here using TORS 1.7 and see you are using the CUDA. Okay. So it will take some to generate the video. So it will ring all the all the frames from this picture. Okay, from the picture or video. Video. Okay. So you can see here it has more amount of more than 12049 So it will generate right now. So you can see it will generate a folder exp2. So it will save this video inside this exp2. So now what you need to do, you need to download this uh, video. You can see it saved in the rounds, detect.exp2. Click on here. Uh, you can see here this video. So let's click on download. So after clicking this, it will uh, download this video from your uh, drive. Okay, so right now we are in drive. Okay, so this is also same. So then uh, you need to uh, put here a comment. So if you do something uh, like comment in your Google Colab or Notebook, you need to initialize the uh, put here the exclamatory sign and the comment. So this is the common Python detail.py and the source. So it should be the Japanese image or it should be the MP4 video. So right now it is uh, you can see here it will downloading uh, just just a minute to why be patient. Okay. So next video I'm trying to make this one in our local system. I think it should be work. Okay. So it's easy okay right now we we'll save file okay let's save it here and i think it saves click on here and i think it will open yep it will open right now okay uh huh yep yeah it will load it right now 47 seconds you can do yeah you can see a kite with some person with some coloring effect also the person okay you did the person Okay, also some person inside here. So also the field person, okay. Uh, kite. Sometimes it will uh, give me some uh, wrong out some time. So you can see here bad, it called that. Walk and the boat and the person and the person. Sometimes it will kick the cuff. Person, okay. So bat, it's kite, okay. 
uh, make sure your uh, video resolution should be good so you can see here it will detect the person right now okay i think it will be detect the kite you can see here it will detect the kite uh, clearly so let's click on here to close this so this is the video action video how can you implement your of the detection the recognition part using it with p5 it's so simple it's so simple you can use this one thank you